When you get diagnosed with cancer, the world will tell you how terrible it is. They'll tell you what an incredible misfortune has befallen you and how sad and awful it is that you've got this disease. In these times, your loved ones may send messages of hope and optimism. If you're fortunate enough to have these kinds of people in your life, consider yourself blessed. However, many will be unable to handle the reality of your situation. They'll be overcome with fear and worry. Inevitably, the world will try to convince you that this is a most tragic outcome and express their pity for your circumstance. But cancer does not render you a hopeless victim. It does not strip you of your dignity or humanity. It does not condemn you to a life of despair. Instead, cancer asks you to choose from one of two paths. The first path is dominated by sadness and self-pity. It is a deep, dark pit that swallows all light and is permeated with the dank smell of despair. It is a path of suffering where you choose to play the victim and internalize a sense of defeat. The second path is a path of grit and grace. It is messy. Moments of hope and determination mixed with periods of deep grief and sadness. It is a path of awakening to the true nature of your existence, of transcending the physical and emotional pain and arriving at a new level of consciousness. It is not, as some might imagine, a path of blind optimism. Rather, it is a deep and resounding faith that no matter what happens, you will hold your head high, smile in the face of adversity, and continue pressing forward no matter how uncomfortable it may be. It is being at peace, knowing that your fate is divinely guided, nothing left to chance. And that if you truly must leave your physical body, that you will not curse fate, but surrender to the beauty of it all. Cancer does not steal your life from you. Cancer gives you a chance, a chance to decide who you want to be and how you want to live your life. In the end, we may not control what happens to us, but we can choose how we respond. And in that choosing, we show the world what kind of person we truly are. So now is the time. Which path will you choose?